to write a program to check whether the given number is a prime number or not. So a prime number is nothing but a number which is a natural number and it has only one and itself to be the factors. So if you take a few examples of prime numbers say 2, 3 and 13 they are prime numbers because they are multiples of 1 and itself. That is their multiples are nothing but 1 and 2. For 2 in the case of 2 only 1 and 2 are the multiples or the factors. So let us check how a prime number can be checked with a program. Say we are entering 7 and 7 is a prime number as we know. Let us check the program using our example. We have to include the standard libraries as we have seen followed by your main function which will be executed as first. Further you have to declare the required variables. Here n, i and c are declared and c is initialized to 0. We have to enter the number to be checked. Here 7 has to be entered and then entered number is scanned using the scan statement. And a logic part comes over here. To see whether a number is prime number or not, we can easily check whether the factors are 1 and itself. So if you see over here, we have initiated a for loop with 1. And the condition is it should be less than or equal to n. And we are dividing the number say 7 with each and every value of i which is less than 7. As we have say, stated over here, which it should be less than or equal to 7. And the condition states that if the reminder is equal to 0, which means if any number between 1 and 7 divides 7, then your C value will be incremented. Since 7 is a prime number, your C value will be incremented only twice that is if you consider over here 7 modulus of 1 will be equal to 0 because 7 is divisible by 1 hence your c value will be increment once and for 2 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 7 is not perfectly divisible hence you will have reminders which is not equal to 0 and again when your i value turns out to be 7 then that is your n value is already 7 so 7 modulo of 7 will be equal to 0 because 7 is perfectly divisible by 7 that makes your c value to be incremented so finally when your c value comes out of this for loop if it is having its value to be 2 because 1 and itself that is the condition for a number to be prime. Then the number is a prime number. Else if your C value has been incremented more than twice that indicates that the number is not a prime number. These type of innovative questions are often hinted in mind tree and emphasis technical rounds.